Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for November 27th through to December the 3rd. I know, how did we even get to December already? It's pretty crazy, right? Now, uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and you might want to think about leaving me a comment, Pisces, please do subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my readings. I'd be super grateful for that because that's what keeps them coming when we are working with an algorithm, okay, that keeps the robots happy. That would be amazing. Now, if you'd like a personal reading or healing at any time, first link down below will jump you over to my website. You can check those out. There are other links below if you want to learn tarot for yourself. Join my Karmic community, which is my email newsletter. Uh, or come across to Instagram where I'm super active and interactive with daily content. I'd love to have you over there. And Pisces, to let you know that your uh, 2024 year ahead tarot reading is being posted uh, this Friday. Okay, so Friday, the, I don't even know what the date is. I'm so lost in it here. Yes, about the 24th. 4th, I think. Oh my goodness. Seriously, it's uh, only Wednesday, the day that this is going live, and I feel like it's been a full week already. So that will be there for you on Friday. Now, work through your fears has come through, Pisces. It's the new moon in Scorpio. So the Scorpionic energy is around endings, uh, transformations, so maybe there is a release that you're sort of working towards, but there's some fear coming up. Um, you know, maybe you're wanting to move towards a new beginning, which is going to require some kind of, you know, clearing of the slate as well. Again, it's natural for the fears, the worries, the anxieties to come up when we are facing change. And the central nervous system can deregulate when we are faced with the unknown, right? Because it's new energy and it does put us a little bit in that fight or flight. It's just a natural part of it. But if we do always keep ourselves comfortable, then we never get to change. We never get to evolve or expand in our life. Okay, Pisces, I'm drawing your major arcana. I've got just the big themes of the tarot here. And the hanged man. Yeah, okay, so you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. But maybe you haven't taken action yet. Or maybe you feel like your hands are tied. It's interesting, Pisces, because this is actually the card that comes before the death card in the numbered sequence of the major arcana. So often with the hanged man, you are looking for the clarity or guidance on how to navigate through a release. Um, but in your mind, you might think, how can I even make this happen? It doesn't add up on paper. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Really, the hanged man asks you to see things from a different viewpoint. Look at it from a different angle. There usually is a way to navigate through it. But often we're looking for the path of least resistance, right? And that's not always realistic. Sometimes there is an exit tax to freedom. Like if we want to leave that toxic job, we might have to step into the unknown and maybe spend some savings to segue into a new job. If we don't have that kind of buffer, then we might have to stay treading water in that job until something else lands. So, you know, there's always a cost and payoff. If it, maybe it's a, a relationship situation. You're wondering what to do. Well, generally, if you look at the energy that you have in a situation, that's generally the energy that will perpetuate unless there's the deep work of transformation on both parties' sides. So maybe that gives you the answer that you need. So the hanged man wants to liberate, and it's liberation through release. But the fears, of course, do arise. Let's go to the full right of weight, Pisces. I'm drawing you four cards from here. We will then clarify as we read them. Queen of Pentacles, situational energy. Your challenge is the High Priestess. Your advice is the King of Wands. That's a Leo energy for me. The Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. And I have the Queen of Cups, which is a Cancer energy in the outcome. With the bottom of the deck energy, Four of Wands. Okay, let's go through this. I'm going to just uh, draw the first clarifier and then we will unpack it okay Aries energy the Emperor has come through so what I'm seeing here is that the situation that you are wanting to liberate in is something that I feel was your stable solid secure right and maybe you had a future vision of being here but it feels like maybe there has been some change in that situation Maybe things aren't growing and moving. Like I said, maybe they've kind of gone toxic. Maybe you've outgrown it. 
So you are being uh, asked to keep your eyes on the prize of the kind of future vision that you have for yourself, which is the four of wands, abundant and happy, stable, all of those things. But sometimes we do need to trust the intuition in the heart and, you know, re-navigate our way, reroute our I always, you know, I get visuals, right? And what I just got there was the, the GPS, um, you know, when you're driving the car and you've got it all loaded, right? But you maybe miss that turn and it reroutes and you're like, oh, I didn't want to go through those streets, but I need to get there. You're needing to take different streets, to get to the Four of Wands is what I'm being told. So that's why there's a release. And you're being asked to work through your fears. Because the more time we sort of overstay in a situation which is taking us further away from the destination, like not even rerouting, we might be sitting in the parked car and hoping to get there. That's basically what the Hanged Man is. So the Emperor says it's time to take action. It is a, you know, calculated strategic steps that will have you get here. Noticing these are both number fours. And it's about, you know, really wanting to work towards that stable, secure future. It's funny because the Queen of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the devil. And I always say she's danced with the devil and she has stepped into her power and overcome it. So maybe you feel, feel or felt out of your power in this situation, powerless to take this action. Maybe you were, were under a little bit of a spell or illusion that things can change here. Well, I think that you know now. Because your gut feelings are going off. I can feel that. You're getting the intuitions. But because we have these powerful things called a brain, we often try to logic our way out of intu intuition. You know, we can discredit it and we can go, no, but I can do this and, and, and I can change it. Well, at the end of the day, the wisdom in the body knows. So what kind of gut feelings do you get around this situation? Yeah. And I think that you're really wanting to move towards a, a new beginning here. It's an emotional new beginning, though. So the high priestess says that that intuition is leading you towards new potential. And... There would be spiritual bypassing if we knew all the steps that were going to play out. That's why she sort of sits in front of the screen going, well, look, if you cross the threshold, I'll take you in the direction of the Four of Wands. How that all plays out, I'm the gatekeeper of that, and I'll reveal the steps and truths to you as you need them, because I'm only going to give you what you can handle in this moment. That's what she says. There is a little bit of a hell and back energy with the High Priestess, so I sort of feel you've you've been through a bit of a cycle here, and you've tried, and... And essentially, you always end up back at the hanged man. So you're being asked to step into powerful leadership, king of wands, and have the strength, courage, and bravery to follow the call of the heart, which is the ace of cups. Now, some of you might have already had a new opportunity present. And you might be thinking, oh, what do I do? How do I navigate through this, right? Well, I see the queen of cups is taking that cup and going, you know what? I think this is what I've been looking for. This is no normal cup. This is decorated. This is adorned. This is gilded, right? This is unique and special. Uh, for others of you, you might be sort of dreaming of a special opportunity that doesn't feel, you know, as hard as what you've had here. And we, hard, we always have hard in a situation, but prolonged hard uh, and going against the grain is where we're not in alignment. You may be dealing with a Leo. I've got Leo, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn here. They are the signs that are coming through. Some of them are energies, you know, oops, I think it's the Ace of Swords. Some of them are energies uh, to embody, but they could be people as well. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So the advice is completion. And through completion, we open ourselves up to new beginnings. And the King of Wands is holding that vision for your future and then taking the leadership on rerouting yourself to get there. You know, that's life by design. Strength, courage, and bravery to follow the heart. And Ten of Pentacles, we're leaving a solid situation. Like I said, it could be leaving a job, leaving a, you know, live-in relationship, de facto marriage, something like that wanting to get out of some kind of housing contract or agreement or investment. And your intuition is telling you. So you'll know, you'll know uh, if this is your reading. The outcome is the Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands. 
And the Queen of Cups again. Wow. Okay. And you know what? She is a such an energy of intuition and heart. She's asking you to trust that intuition and move towards the Ace of Cups, an emotional new beginning, because that leads you to the Four of Wands, which is known as the most stable energy in the tarot. It brings abundance, abundance of happiness, maybe abundance of stability and security, maybe financial abundance, brings happy relationships. And no, that's not all going to play out in the space of this week, but this is a milestone card. It says this is a marker on that journey for you. And if you follow the markers, right, you know, if you follow those markers and reroute yourself, that's the destination that you end up at. Love that visual. Yeah, okay, so let's um let's close this out with a divine abundance oracle card. Oh, your path, that's so perfect. It says, Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. We talked about the fears with this card. We talked about the illusion illusionary energy that links to the devil. And we talked about the fact that sometimes there is a plan beyond, you know, what we expect. And the universe has our best and highest good, has our back to reroute us to our path. So that's what I have and I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. I surely did enjoy bringing it to you. If you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below to my website. You can check those out. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe as well. I'd be super grateful for that and I'm just sending you so much love and magic. Bye for now.